Hey guys, what's up? It's Maisie. Welcome back. Today we are going to dry brine a tomahawk ribeye steak. So I used to think for whatever reason dry brining was this complicated process. Once I realized what it really is, I kind of felt like an idiot. And honestly, it's the simplest thing you can do to elevate your steak. So I went to the store with my husband and he knows I've got to go check out the meat department. I just got to see if there is a deal on something. And guess what? There was two tomahawk ribeyes half off. That was like the God shining down on me. I mean like Maisie 2020 has been rough. Here's some ribeyes. So I took them. Those babies were coming home with me. I didn't love the marbling, but again, I couldn't turn down this offer. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to dry brine them. All you're going to need to dry brine is coarse kosher salt. That's literally all you need. It helps to have some sort of grate to put your steak on when you put it in the fridge so that the air can circulate all around your steak. But really, all you need to dry brine is salt. I'm not kidding. It's that simple. So the plan is to get this dry brining process started tonight. Um, by tomorrow, when it's time to cook, the salt will have been on there for about 24 hours, maybe just a titch less. That's really what I like to shoot for. I've had meals where I only had a couple hours. I still dry brine, and I think it still helps the meat. You could even go at like 48 hours. That would be super awesome. But this cook is only going to be 24 hours, and then we're going to reverse sear on the Pit Boss Casey combo. So stick around to see that cook. Let's get it seasoned up. I've got kosher salt here. You're gonna do this to both sides. Remember, you're gonna wash this off, so don't worry about your steak, steak being too salty. And then I've got a little bit of garlic powder. Put some of that on. That's it. Now you're just gonna stick it in the fridge. All right, here's the steak. I just pulled it out of the fridge. Now I'm going to rinse it, season it, and put it on the grill. I'm going to get a paper towel, pat it dry on both sides, and season it with pepper and rosemary. Fresh pepper here, some rosemary, that is all I'm going to use on this steak. Um, so now we're going to go throw it on the grill. I'm going to go ahead and put the steak on and this is going to smoke for about 60 minutes, maybe 90, I don't know. I'm going to keep an eye on the internal temperature and then I will pull it off and sear it one more just about done. Casey combo and I've cranked this grill as high as it will go, about 500. Now we're just giving it a good sear. Alright, just pulled it off the grill, put a little bit of butter on top. I'm just letting it rest now before we slice into it. Oh my goodness, she's a beaut. So I started slicing and eating before I took a video of the final product, but it turned out awesome. And yeah, now I'm gonna go eat. And there you have it, a super delicious steak right from your home. That dry brine is so worth it. Um, just plan ahead a little bit for it and it's really gonna elevate your steak. And then that reverse sear on the KC combo, ooh, perfect steak every time. I just love having that flame kiss that steak for that nice little crust on the outside. Man, I'm craving another steak just thinking about it. So good. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and if you're feeling extra generous, hit that bell for me so you're notified when a new video comes out. You guys have a good one, and we'll chat later. See ya.